Welcome back. We are here looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, June 15, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our new videos, and we'll start by looking at the S&P 500. We're trading at 4,254 at this current stage. Technically, the negatives, we can see the MACD is bullish, the stochastic is bullish, CCI is bullish, and the RSI is bullish as well. So long-term target, or not long-term target, but probably medium-term target here will be 4,400. If we were to break down from here, then we have the middle of the bullish band roughly at 4,200, and then the 50 moving average at 4,173, and at the very bottom of this is around 4,000. But we are still in uptrend. A 50 moving average has been holding significantly for a very, very long time now. So pullbacks towards the 50 are most likely going to be uh, buying opportunities. So let's look at the Dow Jones. So Dow Jones did not do very well today and has not been doing very well for the last six trading days. It got close to the top of the bullish band and then rallied, basically broke down all the way to the 50 moving average and then bounced. And that is a very good sign as the 50 moving average has been massive support in the past. We can see it here, 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 and all the way back to nearly November last year where we tested the 200 moving average. So fairly likely that we rallied towards the top of the range. Uh, uh, 34,830. That's most likely going to be the target here. However, technical negatives are very bearish at this point. So we may see a lot of choppiness. And when the uh, stochastic crossed the signal line, that's kind of where um, this will all turn around. So let's look at the NASDAQ. So NASDAQ continues to rally. 14,115 uh, is where we ended up. We basically broke through the previous highs here. And at this current stage, it looks like 14,500 is going to be the next target. And then towards 15,000, we're getting very overstretched here. We are at the top of the bullish band. RSI is very, fairly high, almost overbought. Otherwise, technical leaders are very bullish. So if we were to break down from here, then we'll most likely find massive support down at 13,745. And if we break below the 50 moving average and the middle of the bullish band, then we have the bottom here at 13,229. So let's look at the German DAX. So German DAX did rally all the way up towards the top of the range and then gave most of those gains back. So at this point, we could see a small pullback towards the middle of the bullish band, 15,530 or the 50 moving average at 15,356. That basically should be where buyers come back in and push this to the upside. 16,000 is the target here. Technical negatives are fairly bullish at this point. MACD is flat, stochastic is bullish, CCI is bullish, and the RSI is flat as well. So let's look at the UK or FTSE. So this really took off today, got towards uh, nearly 7,190 and then gave all of those uh, gains back and created this fairly shooting star. Could she see a pullback towards the middle of the bullish band here at 7,055? Um, that should be where a significant amount of buyers will come back in and buy this to the upside. If we were to break the middle, then the 50 moving average down here at give or take 7,000. That should be the floor in this market. Technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bullish, the season stochastic is bullish, CCI is bullish, and the RSI is bullish as well. So let's look at the China 50. So China 50 continues to grind to the downside. So it really took off here, rallied roughly 5%, and since then it just is declining towards Guessing towards the 50 moving average and definitely the 200 moving average has offered massive support in the past. Technical indicators are looking dreadful and we have basically broken below the uh, 20 exponential as well. So 50 moving average is mostly going to be the target here. If we manage to bounce from there, then it's um, then that will be a fairly interesting um, entry point for this in the same. So. Hope you find this helpful. You want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And good luck and thank you very much.